Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we'll be continuing talking about lesson 13.1, Minerals and Rocks. Rocks, naturally occurring solids made up of minerals and mineral-like materials. We have three types. We have igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. The rock cycle slowly changes rocks from one type to another through heating, melting, cooling, weathering, and erosion. Moving to the types of rocks, as we said earlier that I have three types of rocks. The igneous form when magma cools and solidifies, can be intrusive or extrusive. A sedimentary rock form when sediments cement together or when water evaporates and leaves behind minerals. Those minerals can be clastic chemicals or biochemicals. Metamorphic, where form when heat or pressure changes the crystalline structure of pre-existing rocks. So, in general, the more slowly igneous rock cools, the larger its crystals. So, moving to the what is mined, the ores, which are groups of minerals that are mined so metal or metals can be removed. Non-metallic minerals, that minerals including gemstones that as a whole have valuable properties. Fuels, minerals that can be used to generate energy. About 100 minerals are considered gemstones, including diamonds, topaz, and jade. Process of mining and mineral use. From initial exploration to disposal, mining and mineral use involve many steps. So we have, firstly, we have here the earth, that areas are going to be explored, resources are extracted, the waste is disposed, then minerals are refined and processed. We also have that further processing for specific material. Also, we have waste that is going to be disposed, and then we have the materials that are used to make products such as cars and the pillions, okay, also gonna be recycled and minerals are refined and processed also the waste is going to be disposal so as you can see that every single waste is going to be disposed and then some of them are going to be recycled then we have the mining method we have the strip mining the subsurface mining the open pit mining the mountain top removal the solution mining the placer mining and undersea mining we also have here the processing ore which ores must be processed to gain access to the metals they contain. Ore is crushed and ground. Crushed ore is separated into metals and tailings. Concentrated metals are further processed, often by smelting. So we are going to understand more about this in our...